to the reality of love. Thank you for watching us online tonight. Uh, every Thursday night we do it just like this. And this night we have some special company joining us. And, uh, of course, I got my partner in crime, Miss Indy Smith. Hola. How are you? Hola. I'm good. I'm very good. good. We, got, we got a lot. We got a full house. Got we got a full got house. Family. <laughs> yep. We got some R&B up in here. We Ooh, got we do. We do. some cocktails <laughs> and cupcakes. And it's a lot going on. Anytime India's in the building, there's always cocktails. Uh, oh, oh, you know, I'm saying, yeah. So wait a minute, I know you're not trying to throw me under. The no, I'm not. Right. I wouldn't dare do that because you just you just went up with your sippy sip. You just went up with it. Sippy What's sip. That? Sippy yeah. Sip. Okay. Coca Cola. You know what? Come on, Indy. Really? There's, you just go back other episodes. I don't even have to say anything. <laughs> anyway, look. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. We have some special guests um, that I'm happy that could make it by tonight because. Obviously, they don't know what we do. No. And they think it's always scripted or we know we, we tell them about, you know, what direction we're going in. But it really is kind of a free lance yeah. and free for all yeah. kind of honest uh, perspective on things. So we're going to talk about love, sex, and relationships. Maybe not necessarily in that order, but we're going to talk about it. Joining me, is, sitting right next to me, is a beautiful young lady who is a singer-songwriter, uh, possibly a producer. Yeah, right? producer too. Mm-hmm. Anhela. <laughs> Anhela is her name. And um, she has a hot single, which we're going to debut for you guys can hear it. So stick right there where you are and check it out. Uh, tell us about the song, because the song in itself is pretty interesting, the way my producer was explaining oh, it. Oh, yeah. The, well, it, you know, it sounds like a love song when you first listen to it, but then when you go check out the video, it's like a triangle or a square, whichever you want to <laughs> say, between, like, you know, when you like somebody and you just don't know how to say it. You know, and you so kind of so basically, you're caught between two lovers. Is that what you're telling? It was, it was three, but oh, <laughs> it's a square. It's a square. Women. It was three. Oh, women. women, women. You see, women. Wait. <laughs> it was three, but you know, and it's just saying how you get through that, and sometimes everyone has to lose. When someone wins, someone loses. That's sad, right? Yeah. Okay. Somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to lose. That's an old school joint. I know. We got somebody in this room that understands that. Sitting next to Angela is another singer-songwriter. This brother has been around. I've actually, you know, he's actually worked with us before he became big time. He's now on the another next level. Another level. Exactly. Another level, exactly. Uh, and you really don't understand where he's coming from. Brother Mark, thank you, man, for joining us. I appreciate that, my brother. Pleasure, 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 man. Now, just kind of give everybody an idea of st- some of the things that you've been doing in the music arena. Oh, uh, man. Um, well, you know, I started off writing, you know, been doing a lot of film scores right now. So, you know, doing some uh, music for Think Like a Man, too. Um, you know, releasing a single with Swiss Beats, a couple of other guys. Oh, you know what I'm saying? A couple of other guys. You know, you know, just a couple of guys. Just, you know, work, man. So, uh, you know, you know. Keeping it going, man. Creating these events, you know what I'm saying. Um, and if you have to work Fridays, you know, you know, bringing the people into, you know, bringing the people out. Mark had, does this after work thing in New York, and uh, I went by real quick the other the other week and was thoroughly impressed. Um, uh, Bridget Kelly was up in the place, just chilling in the cut, and it was real sexy and real, real hot. Bridget Kelly, she just got off tour with Mary J. Blige. If you don't know about her, you're gonna learn about her very, very soon. So uh, watch out for Brother Mark because he's he's on the quiet tip, and you know what they say about quiet, exactly. quiet ones. Now we have another special lady to the other side of uh, Indy, and this lady and I we go back a long time. Um, Florice, that's what we don't want to give a full government. Wow, Florice, he went crazy. <laughs> well, <laughs> we Hello, all. Wow. we call her Flo, my but full name. Oh, you know. Lord. Florice, thank yes. you for very much for joining us tonight. No problem. I know you watch the show from time to time. Yes, so you're going to bring a different perspective to this madness that we're going to go into. Yes. You see whose side she's on, right? <laughs> okay. you, ordered, you ordered her to be on that side with you. So that's, you know. She's not as crazy, I don't think, as you are. We'll anyway. see. We'll see. But we'll find out. So okay. you, you heard us initially talk about what, what we have on air. So let's continue that conversation for a moment. We're talking about affection. Um, do you crave it? Or is it not a concern? We'll start with an, a mature perspective, and then we'll come down the line. So, Flo, what, what would you say? Affection. Well, I think everybody wants affection. I mean, I don't know if I, cr- I crave it, but I do desire it. I mean, that's the only way you should be. I mean, in life, if you're in love, or if you're not in love, you're looking for it. 
So, so if why you're not? not in love, if you if you're not in love, from do you still require? I mean, do you still want it as bad? I I, I desire it, of course. So it's a part of our characteristics. It's a part of our characteristics. Now let's swing it to a younger generation. What would you like to say about this? Oh, it's necessary. Like it's a must. It's a must. If if not, we're just friends. That's it. Really? Yeah. So it's a must at what stage? I mean, I think we need to define like affection, you know, like what what you think it is. Well, how would you define affection? It's like the small things, you know. I don't want to demonstrate it right here, but it's the small oh. things. <laughs> I mean, you Why know. Why are you demonstrating right now? Far be it from any of us. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's the small, look, it's the small things. It's like it doesn't have to be like completely sexual. It's just like the small things that makes you think that you're different from everybody else. You know, so that for me, it's like if you don't do that, I just feel like you're not into me like that. Like you look at me like a friend or like a sister or something. If he doesn't show any kind of affection, mm-hmm. after how long of a period of time? Because that's the question. Because, uh, because um, there was a, there's a gentleman in the room that I'm not going to point we, the camera and turn it around. But, yeah, let me just say it like that. After how long? We have to define, there's level two effect, level one affection, and there's level two affection. Level one is like, you know, that's cool. You know, first encounters, that's cool. And the second affection is like. But, but, but give me time frame. <laughs> I see, I, I think most of the fellas can relate to time frame. So we just meet you. Yeah, like little things, subtle things. I don't want anyone to go and hump somebody because I said, like, right. give them a So hold, well, holding your hand? <laughs> yeah, like holding your hand or, like, you know, a little shoulder thing here or there. You know, something cute. Like, oh. Okay, but, you know, you know, see, see, ladies are very, very interesting. And I'm going to say this from two different perspectives, and maybe we can get both of these ladies. If, you, if you're feeling the woman, mm-hmm. but the woman is not really feeling you to the same magnitude that you're yeah. feeling her, so and you go and try to like, yeah, you don't hold do her hand, and she's like, <laughs> so how do we know? Why don't can, can we can we start a new thing? I mean, f- well, hold on, before I even say that, Flo, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So why do you get? Why do you ladies allow us to even get past the first plateau? Mm-hmm. Is it because of dinner? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God, gotta be smart these days. We can't be okay. Yeah. Being smart, I respect. Being a mind reader is totally different. No, it's smart. Like if you text her and she takes five hours to text back, like, yeah, she ain't feeling you. <laughs> she, she ain't feeling you. Yeah. Understand, please? She is not feeling she, you. Word noted. Yeah. All right. G- give me another one. Five hours doesn't text you back in five hours. She ain't feeling you, Flo. Well, I agree. If she's not texting you back in five hours, forget about it. No, no, but give me another one. Another one? Something that you used to do back in the day. Mm-mm. <laughs> I, I probably would tell you to meet me somewhere and never show up. Ooh, God forgive wow. me. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, oh, that's terrible. That's wow. terrible. Flo, God, that's dirty, God Flo. Me. Oh. That's terrible. That is so That's cold. terrible. I'm cold. But that's I'm awful. Like that. That's cool. I will see you waiting and say, oh, no, I can't do this. Oh. And I will walk away. Oh, you mean, are you talking about like a first, you're just meeting the person, you don't know how they look? Is no, that... I already met them and they told me to meet them somewhere. No! Oh, my goodness. And I'll see them there waiting for me. I'm like, oh, God. That's dirty, I say, Flo. forget about it. What did I do to myself? That's terrible. That's terrible, Flo. Mark, let me, let me, let me take it to a different perspective. So, so. We understand. How do you feel comfortable with affection from a man's perspective? And can you relate to what both of these ladies were saying? I can relate to it. I mean, if a woman don't text me back, I'm going to take offense to that. Yeah. Um, affection, oh, man, it's kind of hard to read a woman. You don't want to just, like, initiate kind of initiate things and get shut down and be embarrassed. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. But um, I, the kind of guy... You know, I am. I, I love affection from a woman, and I kind of I, I try to you know put it out there at the right time, right place. How long for you? How would you gauge the right time? I mean, is it based on her body language? Is it based on her returning yeah, your text you, within I, five hours? I can't say that there's a time. It's just a matter of feeling. You know what I'm saying? If a woman's like, uh, you know, I think women are kind of you know in their own way like they'll brush up you know, against a man and whatnot, and they kind of give you signs and whatnot. You gotta you gotta you know be mature and read into it. So I act on that. Sometimes if you don't get it, you may have to just take the initiative and do something like you know. Yeah, like, I I stopped doing that. 
Because, you know, taking the initiative, and I understand you ladies sometimes say, well, if a man doesn't take the initiative, then maybe he's not confident and blah, blah, blah. This is true. Women in New York are brutal. In the tri-state, <laughs> they're brutal. Yeah. Now, maybe down south is a different flow. Yeah, we're not. But in New York, they see you coming, right? They see you coming, bam, on the kneecap. And don't come over to her, and she's with her girls. Come on, man. It's just not going to work. Now, Mark, you probably have a different perspective than I do. I mean, psh, affection could be like uh, you take a picture with the girl, and you put up your picture with her, and she doesn't put up hers. You know what I'm saying? No. Some people may take offense no. to that. No, no. no we're in a social life no. right now. A, she don't want nobody to know that. She, she, don't, she don't want to show you. If I put up a picture of a, you know, me and a girl and she didn't do the same, I would feel don't, like, don't uh, you know what I'm saying? Don't take offense to that. Don't take don't, offense to yeah. that. Well, how should we take offense? How should we? I mean, yeah. and I ask you, and you ain't, and you ain't put yours up? No, but you ain't the first What do you mean? Like, you all are dating and that happens? I mean, like maybe like the second date, third date, whatever. Um, are, you, are, are you are you coaching right now? Don't, <laughs> don't take offense to that. Seriously, I don't know. you know what the world we're living in now. If you've already been on a date and she doesn't like post, I there is etiquette. There's like there's social media etiquette, you know. And I think if you're being that public with someone, <laughs> I think that yeah, that's like social media is the new. If you get put on the page and oh my god, if the status change, that's. Him yeah. claiming you. I'm That's just saying. Like I'm just talking ring. from a social standpoint. It right. is. I'm just saying. You know, yeah, something. Man. I, I. Who would claim somebody that quickly though? Yeah. You know. Oh, two dates. <laughs> when we're talking about a fashion. Okay. We talk, See, we talk, we talk, you know what though? It may be cute. You may have something like sharing ice cream or something like you know what I'm saying and put it up. I mean, Lenny it is giving you five years, and if if then that five years you perfect, then he'll put then he'll post <laughs> I mean, on you. Lenny uh, is look. This is my thing. The older you get. You should know who you are. You know who you are. You know what you want. All these games. It's like, I don't understand why people play games so much. It's like, they enjoy, they enjoy being, I don't know, dysfunctional in this. And we're talking about real human relationships. How can you not, I don't, anybody who doesn't like being touched, there's something wrong with you. Maybe somebody touched you wrong. Oh. I'm so serious. I mean, that's possible too. No, that's, seriously. That's possible. I'm, I'm being true. serious. Like, cause from when we're born, if you don't touch us, we don't develop right. We don't. You, you're supposed to. You're supposed to hold babies. You're supposed to feed them. Whoever is a mother, I'm not a mother. But that connection, that's how you build connection. You like me, and you're not touching me. Who are you touching? I mean, now I hear you, but you know what? You have to be so concerned. I mean, Flo. I mean, I don't. If if you touch too quickly. Then, then we're perfect, <laughs> you know. Then we're perfect, you, you know. Yes, then, then we yes, get smacked, yes. or then you call your girlfriend like, "Girl, touch, you know, right, this right. guy's touching well, me, and we don't went out two uh, dates." That depends on what. That how many drinks on how, you had? No, how it many depends. Drinks? No, it how depends on how you're feeling the person. If you're feeling the person, and the minute you meet them, you want to touch them. Touch no, me? No, no I'm the, I'm being That's really true. serious. That's true. Right, and then if she's like, uh, yes, yeah. Then you stop. If you like the them, you will. Yeah. Exactly. Really trying to get somebody smacked. Why don't you try? <laughs> try? I just, I just met you. I'm yeah, gonna try to right. take. See, no, I think that's kind of hard. Met, but you're on a date. I, I, well, I, think, I think that's kind of hard. Some women may want to be like they want may want to have that wall up like they're not fast. So you know. Okay. So that's kind of hard. Yeah. I think. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, okay, I guess from from our perspective, we know what we want. If I'm feeling Always. you, I'm letting you know. I'm not gonna play games. Some women don't let you know that. I'm not You're gonna. gonna... Let you know. I'm not gonna... See? Really? See? Oh, that's too much that's time wasted. I ain't got time. Because you, know. you don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be. Well, oh, that's that's that. But yeah, then you be waiting. <laughs> hey, because well. these days, like, yeah. Hey, hey, call us up if you like. One eight five five four Lenny G. One eight five five toll free for Lenny G. Uh, we have a, a gentleman on the line. Punch him up, uh, brother Kevin. Kevin? Kevin? Yes, sir. Hey, man. Thanks for reaching out to us tonight. We really appreciate it. I got a, a room full of wonderful folks. We kind of want to know your perspective and your thoughts on this topic tonight. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> a fish crave water, right? Fat cake, crave cheese. <laughs> oh, you said a fish drinks water? I said a fish crave water like a rat cake. Crave cheese. I hear that. You hear that? Crave water, like a, okay. Yeah, I hear that. I've right. never heard that term before, man. I've never heard that term. I hear you that. never heard that term? Nah. Well, that's what it's like, man. And, and, and look, in these days, in these days and times, it's hard to get to. 
Spectrum ain't like it used to be. Spectrum is in the money now. <laughs> oh, so the more affection you might get. <laughs> oh wow! So oh, you're, are wow. you saying are you saying ladies are just solely after us for the money and and then not after us for the sincerity? Not like it used to be. You know, it used to be caring and sharing. I think I could be sitting next to one like that. No way playing. Oh, <laughs> see? Both I'm only playing. I'm only playing. <laughs> I'm only playing. I'm only playing. No, I, I feel you, though. I, I, I don't think people... I think people look at people for sometimes what they have or what they can get as opposed to who they are. Definitely. Definitely. Well, hopefully you're not going through that, man. I, I, I thank you for calling up tonight but uh you know no i ain't, i ain't gonna go through it you know what I'm saying? because if, if if we can't have a, a even playing field you know don't worry you know don't be worrying about what my pennies is over there and you can't keep all your pennies over there you know what I'm saying? you put some pennies together and make nickels that's what i'm talking about i know that's but, right. uh, yes, nah, but i'm doing all right so you know don't come at me you know Oh, you're a truck driver, and you start to see dollar signs and things like that. It's supposed to be a we thing, yeah. not a me thing. You understand? Know so, you know, point a lot one. of times, and once upon a time, I once told somebody, I said, look, moral support go a long way. You know, don't always have to be about the finance. Don't always have to be about the physical. But a lot of times, uh, the affection, you know, that's a real strong thing when you receive it. And receive it on a positive, not not getting affection because of what you're gonna get out of the situation. Right. You understand? Right. So I hope all them beautiful sisters. I can't see y'all because I ain't on Facebook. I'm sitting up in this truck. I understand, bro. I understand. I'm sorry, man. Well, I appreciate the call, brother Kevin. Have a great weekend, man. Thanks for calling in, man. All right, where you at this weekend? Um, I'm actually in South Jersey, Jersey Shore. Oh, down the shore. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, we're doing a family reunion this weekend, man. So. Oh, okay. Well, you do that. Enjoy, you know, I'll be in touch. All right, brother. You know, hey, look, man, lock in with us you. next week. We're going to be doing a live broadcast from St. Martin, so that should be pretty interesting. Okay, that sounds like a plan. All right, brother. Thanks. You. All right, be good. Peace. Have a nice weekend. You too. This Bye. is the reality of love. Thanks for uh, locking in. One eight five five four Lenny G. That's the number to call. We got somebody else on the line. Let's let's check it. Hello. 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 Hi. How you doing? I'm pretty Is good. How? Yes, it is. How you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to reach Lenny Green. I'm trying to win some of them tickets that he's giving away to <laughs> oh, let, all the let, let me let me put you on hold. I'm gonna give you the real Lenny Green in just a moment. But thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for calling. Me. <laughs> Still being for screening for sure. This is the reality of love, y'all. And we have uh, a nice room full of folks tonight. Angela is a singer-songwriter. I, I would like to for us to hear her song uh, so we can see what kind of love triangle that she... Square. Uh, it's a square. It's a square? Mm -hmm. A square is four corners. It's four. She, it's she four had, of them. It's four of them. It's four of them. Not just three. It was, it was yeah, four? Three. It was four of them. It was a video. Disclaimer. Disclaimer was a video. But um, oh. just letting y'all know. Did you write the song? I did. <laughs> See, that was an indication that it's not just a video. The song isn't. The song is about a love song for all you lovers that are getting an affection tonight. So from four different people at the same time. No, it's one in, in the song. In, in the song, the video it's it's three. So I'm always <laughs> curious to know how writers uh, write songs because I, I wanna. I think I have a hit song in me. I just okay. can't write. So, is this from a personal experience? This is definitely from personal experience. That but you have four guys. No, the the video that was a concept that me and the director guys. came up with. But when I wrote the song, it was about one person and just wanting to be more. Like you want to be more, but like we're talking about now, you just don't get those signs from the person. So but you it's had like, three guys that you no, were looking no, at to be one. No, 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 there was no three guys. That's that's the video. Go, oh, that's the video. Go check the video, then you'll understand. But the song. How can is, how can we find the video? Find the video. It's on my website on Halo.com. How you spell that? A N H A Y L A, or go to YouTube and type me in it's there. If I was. Well, can we take a listen to it? Yes. We're gonna listen to the song right now, and the name of the song is. If I was. If I was. I hear that. It's not reality. Love. Take a listen. We'll come back and rip it up a little bit.
If I was your summer, if I was your winter, if I was your springtime, if I was your fall, if I was your wind, if I was your stars, if I was your sun, it would never rain at all. If I was your lady, if I was your baby, if I was your sweetheart, if I was your boo. If I was your lover, significant other, if I was your up, I stay down for you, you. I think I love you. I think I love you, you, you. It's the Coca-Cola. <laughs> right. right. He upgraded. I think I love you. I think I love you. Yes. If I was. After, if I was. If I, was. Mm-hmm. But I think I love you, right? Was if I was, I think I love you, yeah. After how many dates? After. <laughs> nah. This was a long time from experience. This is a person you've been talking to for a minute. Mm. Yeah. What's a minute? See, a, I need to a minute, understand a minute. A minute is like a few months, like six, six. months. Okay. Six, seven months. Okay. Why do answer. we put time on things? Well, I think it's healthy to put a time on it only because I get an understanding personally okay. of what how people think. Because what may be long to one person could mm-hmm. be short to another person. So I think it just brings it to perspective for me. Personally. Okay. I don't know. I just I think when we put timing on things, it doesn't it it's like okay, so if you, you feel a certain way, you feel an attraction and then, you know, your emotions grow stronger and it's only been three weeks. What are you going to, like, make sure those emotions stay intact until it's, like, oh, maybe, like, the sixth month? Because just, in- I mean, I don't know. I just, no. I agree with <laughs> you. I think you should let it flow. Whenever. Like, let it flow. Whenever, whenever. Like, really? I agree yeah. with you. Sometimes I'm it's gonna not wait. appropriate. You because, well, that's, there's no such thing. One thing, love is not 
mm-hmm. Maya Angelou, is uncertain. So I don't think like what's appropriate if 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 my spirit is telling me that this is a go. I'm not worried about what you're going to do to me because I trust myself enough to know that if you do something to me that I don't like, we're done. And that doesn't take away from the feeling and the love I had before. It just means that you're just jacked up. But what if you're letting you know you're, you're letting the person know your feelings and it's not mutual? See, deuces. You know, that, I still don't lose. I still don't lose because okay. I'm honest with myself. And you didn't wait around. And you don't wait around. You get. You let them know. And if they're a no, then you know right away. It's better to look like a sucker for five days than a sucker for five years. Ooh, very good, Indy. Seriously. <laughs> you know, all that sounds it. real good. That's it's good. true, That's though. True. No, no, I agree. I, I agree. However, it's far from reality, though. Let's keep it real. But the reality is when you're not real, you Flo, get, people I can believe get it's hurt. Not real reality. Not I think, reality. No, Flo, not at all. Flo, Flo is the cut and dry person. Yes. She'll cut you just as quick as she say hello to you. <laughs> She'll cut and dry. I think I know. I think I know. Now everybody else, it really is undetermined because you know what? We fall into that same category, and I'm noticing it happens on every generational level, where a lot of people don't want to be by themselves, Mm -hmm. so they settle or deal with it for an unprecedented amount of time. I mean, before you got to that cut and dry level flow, you probably did the same thing, but now settle. Never. Never ever. I love myself. At 20 years old, my father made me feel great. Oh, made wow. me feel like I'm a princess, a queen. I would not ever. Never did. Never did. Never At did. At 20, you never did. Before that. Never really? did. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Early yeah. validation. There you go. There yeah. you go. Well, I, you know what? I know my a lot of uh, A lot of people these days are not fortunate to have two parents. True. So it, a lot of men are lost because they never had a positive role model. Mm-hmm. So that's what, you know, some young ladies are kind of dealing with that challenge. You just be holding on. You just be wishing the person will change. You keep waiting. I've written so many songs about it. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. It never changes. So you gotta, you gotta move on. You gotta keep it moving. There's so many guys. How many are there? Like a billion. It's more than you. Six billion. Oh no. Oh. Well, they say they're like buses. Wow. Another one will come along eventually. Mm-hmm. Next there you go. Well, you know coming. what? I think I think we grow into that maturity state of mind. I don't think everyone really falls into that state we of don't. mind initially. You we know, don't. I, mean, I don't. didn't. I didn't. But I think as you know, experience teaches us because somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose, and That's hopefully true. you don't want to be on the losing side all the time. Right. Well, what's what's losing? What do you consider losing? Just having a bad feeling yeah, it's or like somebody picking the wrong people to be involved with. Okay. And you're okay. making the same mistakes over and over again. Or you don't know when to throw in the towels. Like, you know what? Deuces. See you okay. later. I got to get out of here. Because this is not really working out. Mm. So if you settle and you just kind of stay just to stay, I think, I think well, that's that goes back to affection. Like, if you're an affectionate person and you're not getting, you can, you can tell right away if someone's affectionate. No, but we got to clarify this because someone can give you affection and not love you. It's Absolutely. So- <laughs> oh, true. that's true. That's right. It's so real. You know, I've that's true. Some- I'll just be quiet. No. No, no, no. Please. no. <laughs> please. no. <laughs> Spill the beans. Yeah, like affection, just because you're touching somebody does not mean you love it. And I think like this day and age, people want it to be mutual. Like you want someone to love you and have affection, not just touch you. Anybody can touch you. That's easy. It's like I don't, I don't need your touch. No. I just hmm. got bitter. I'm sorry. So no, what, is, what does <laughs> your right. love look like? <laughs> what, my love? is fine. What does your love look like? Like, what does love look like to you? So if someone isn't um, that affectionate, but they love you, and they're showing you that they love you, what does that look like? For I don't you? think that's possible. I feel like everybody has love languages, and when you love somebody, mm-hmm. you'll learn theirs. Like, mine is uh, affection. You can't be over here giving me service. Uh, like, I don't care what you buy me. Exa- Did gonna... you get the book? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. got the book? Oh! As soon as she said love languages, I knew her and Andy were going to connect because you, you connected, you read the book, you read the yes, book. Yes, I, I, I know about the love languages. Can yes. you share with everyone what the book is? Do you know about the book? Do you know the, what's she going to get it. She's going to get it now. Five no, I'm going to get it for now. Five love, it's five love languages. So there's affection, service, um, oh, uh, affirmation, 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 quality time, and gifts. Gifts, yeah. 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 Just you like gifts? And affirmation. All right. I love it, bling bling over there. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Like right. gifts. She you likes know gifts. what? See, yes. see, fellas. And you have to take the test. Like you, you yes. go online and you take the test, and it let you ask, you answer these questions, and it lets you know, you know, what it is. So, what's your love language? Mine is affection and affirmation. Mine is uh, 
affection, <laughs> affirmation, and quality time. Yeah, if you don't spend no time, time with me, too. I'm done. Out, out of sight, out of mind. Next. I'm so serious. If I don't have you a certain amount of time, on to the next. This is true. Yeah. Quality time and is And you important. need to be touching me in that time. And, and touching and me, quality true. time, <laughs> affection, quality and buying me <laughs> gifts. <laughs> quality time. I need it all. <laughs> I guess quality <laughs> time. Big shout out to my right? assistant, Ishae White. Yeah, yeah, for the time. Swing around here, You're right. Yeah, Same no right. question. Swing by. Loyalty. <laughs> Swing by. So, so, Flo, what would be your love sign? I say quality time and loyalty. I guess that's the same, maybe. You have to be loyal. You have to be. That's number Loyal, one. Loyalty's not there, but loyalty would fall under, um, wow. I don't know. Wow. That should have been I there. guess affirmation. Yeah, affirmation. affirmation and, or just in communication. But that loyalty is that, like, you're looking into somebody's character at that point. Yes. So that's important also. Mm-hmm. But, you know. See, all this brings me to a very, another interesting topic. And that is the topic that I had the other night called... <sighs> A person who is inconsistently uh, consistent. Oh, that was last night. Oh, yes, oh, that was last night. I can't. Consistently inconsistent. inconsistent. Would you like to break it down oh, so everyone knows? Oh, okay. Consistently First inconsistent. First of all. Because now uh, it's a uh, twofold situation in my perspective. So go ahead. You, okay, you, your your position was. From a career perspective. From, from a career perspective. Now, okay, no, no, no. I, I'm gonna, I'm first. I'm gonna co-sign your perspective because it is hard. It is hard to um have a decent quality time relationship when your your focus is on yourself. And I think you should put self first, especially if when you don't have children. If you're putting yourself first in terms of becoming a better person, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And only somebody who's right for you is going to respect that. Okay? On the other hand, you can't allow, you can't ask someone to come into your, your life and not make them a part of your life. It's one thing to be... Um, I'm going to call you. I care about you. I love you. You're in someone's life on the side. There's another thing being incorporated in their everyday life. But, and but, 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 and that doesn't take that doesn't take a lot of time. Well, No, it doesn't take a lot. Of that time. takes consistency. True. However, here's a thin line between love and hate. The thin line. <laughs> You don't have to give me undivided attention. <laughs> you're making me nervous now. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for what you're going to say. Well, I think the thin line between love and hate is it's hard to do because they have their own life as well. Mm-hmm. So if they have their own life and they're doing, maybe not in the same career profession as you, mm-hmm. and they're trying to uh, uh, live and do what the responsibilities that their life requires. Let's say you have polar opposite schedules. Let's say your significant other works a nine to five. You're a singer. Yep. You don't work a nine to five. I live Let's it. say you live it. Okay, so you're, you're working and you're touring and you're doing promotional engagements in the evening where he might not be willing or can't come out to be there with you. Now, that's not to say that you don't want him there, or maybe you're traveling. Now, he definitely can't travel. That's so sad. That's sad. <laughs> I know. That is over. Forget it's about so it. so sad. Gosh. Mm-hmm. I know. So that's where it flips back to you, Indy, because where you may want that, I think it's definitely warranted, but... Okay. Depending if you depending on the career, I keep going to career professions because that's been my life. Okay. The career professions, unfortunately, um, not very nice to relationships, especially okay. in my career. Well, okay. So I I don't I'm I'm not going to throw you totally under, but I will say yeah. this: humans first, and my and my, this is just my life. Humans first, then things. So people, then things. If somebody was cutting me a check and I needed to be there. Or I was going to be late to a class or to work. I'm going to get that check. I'm going to make a phone call. I'm going to get that check. That check is a priority. If there's a human being in my life and I may have to slide something to the side or can't do this. Or how about, you know what? This is your Sunday. And every fourth Sunday is just yours. I'm cutting off my phone. There, you can make allowances for things that are important. It's called sacrifice. Because let me tell you something. The bottom line is when you have, if anybody wants or has children, 
The kids don't care about your career. Nope. You could career all day, every day. Yep, I agree. I got to <laughs> eat. I'm hungry. Well, so people, and that's what I'm saying. Like people, yes, careers are great, but God forbid something happens when you need to go to the hospital and you can't do your career. Is that person going to be there? But Did see, you make time? But see, here's here's the deal. And I, again, I'm speaking from a perspective that you might be able to relate to. Cutting a check doesn't happen all the time, <laughs> especially in the beginning. Let's keep it real. It doesn't happen all the time. You have to make sacrifices, right. and unfortunately, those sacrificing time could be that fourth, could be on right. that Sunday that you decide to spend that quality time with right. that person. If she's being managed by somebody, and her, mm. you know, he That's might there one. might be an opportunity okay. because again, you, you, you have to crawl before you walk. You don't right. just walk. Right. You didn't walk when you were a baby. What makes you think you can walk as an adult? Then you need somebody who's going to crawl with you. Because well, if you, exactly. you need somebody who's going right. to crawl that's with you. Be that's only fair. That's right. But that, but that's, that's hard to find. But that's the person, whoever's busy, or if maybe you're both busy, but that's your individual responsibility to pick people that understand. Mm -hmm. And, one, and when they don't the feel like understanding anymore and they want to have tantrums, Cause that, come on, keep it real. Like after like the fourth cancellation with me, I'm not. I'll understand, but I need to be able to vent. So at least be open minded enough to say, you know what, you're right. I, I, what am I gonna do? And it, it's just compromise. Hook me up with some of the guys that you are talking about. <laughs> they, I don't have. Speak, speak. Because I, I haven't met those type of guys. Like that's what kind of guys. Are that sounds good, but like people don't want that, especially when you have two different lifestyles, like being a singer, and then you have somebody who does something completely opposite from you. You saying that, hey, I can't do this because I have to go out and I have to, you know, do what I do. My opportunities, because when you miss that moment, like it's gone. That's it. it don't gone. come back around. Like, if, what if somebody asked me to a date and I'm supposed to be here? You know, what am I supposed to be like? No, I'm so sorry, I can't come. I have to go. Eat sweet frog with <laughs> boy. You know you can't you can't do that. But I mean, it sounds good. I I think yeah yeah. I fun. think you can have both. I think you can have a great career yeah, you know. and a great relationship. <laughs> but I think it has to be. It's just like anything else. Like you have to work at relationships. Maturity, I think, comes with maturity. Both of you, both of you have to be mature. Mature, uh, mature perspective, Flo. Yes. What's your well, I think you can have somebody if they're, like she said, they're willing to understand. Willing to, a, right. a willing participant. Mm -hmm. A mature mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. A person who's into you. They have to well, be in. That's true. No, but no. I mean, no, but when I to, say loyalty, they that's have to right. Be I'm into talking you, about someone into who's you. loyal. Everybody yeah. can be into you. That's okay, you know, but they have to be understanding and support. loyal. Support. There you go. Support. I understand there you what go. being into you is. Gotta, I understand what And they gotta understand what you know their position. I when they're re when you're available, you're available. If you're or, not, oh, come on, Lenny. Flo, what? I hear what you're saying, and you're right. To a degree, but guess what? what? Finding that person. Well, God will find that person for you. Exactly. Stop it. So you gotta be by yourself then that for a second. That's okay. Okay. Okay, but you'll you'll get there. But, 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 you, you'll but, get there. But you, in, in getting there, you meet people along the way, and you think, okay, you know what? This person might be able to work with me. You know. Well, if they're giving you too much trouble, you gotta let it go. Yeah. So you don't have to have life, headaches. Yeah, that's you, why I got a hit song. In there it. you it's go. Not easy. Less go. headaches, Lenny. That's okay. It's not that easy. Time it's marches not. on. Lenny, you know what, though? Time you know who I think on. would understand? What? All the lovely ladies that follow you. <laughs> 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 All the ladies that follow Lenny and, like, well, follow, and follow, follow and follow and follow and call and call and follow and follow. <laughs> oh, y'all understand, because no matter where he is, y'all you know are there. Playing games, no, playing no, games. No, you know no. you should have liked them. And they don't mind. They sit <laughs> back. They, mind. they sit they back. Sit they back. know their position, and yeah, they, they just be... let you do you. Yeah. And they're waiting for you. See, yes. You be talking about for the bubble right bath right yes. and the candles. Put him in his place. Put him in his place, ladies. Put him in his even place. Even those ladies who you ladies talk Woo! about, even those ladies, again, they are not involved with my personal yeah. life. Yeah. And when a person becomes, you know what? You might think that you're interested in something or a person for a minute until you really put your feet in, in their the life. Water. Exactly. And once you put you're your feet right. in the water, you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're whoa, right. Whoa, whoa. It's whole lot. It's a whole lot different before you came into this room. Yeah. Once you come into my room, if you're really gonna rock out with me, this is what it's gonna be. The question is, I'm not. For, I, you can't force a person. You can't no, you make cannot. a person do anything. 
It's up so to it, them. Right, it's up to them. So whether they're going to rock out with you and stick stick it out or... Well, hopefully they have something to do themselves. You better love you know? yourself. You gotta love yourself. That. Yeah, hopefully they have a life themselves. Thinking that. If they have a life, will they worry about yours? There. Be there when yeah. when they have to be there. Come on. Yeah. Well, I I have a question, Lynn, because your your life is full. It's full, and from the outside, it's well, no, because it is exciting. But from the outside, it's very exciting. Um, but people just don't understand and know how hard you really work to make it look exciting. And excuse me, but. Have you ever been with someone and you wanted to be involved in their life a lot? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's my short answer. That's, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yes. Well, because, because I had to what? think about it. Like, you have a fun life. You have, like, this this glamorous life. And a lot of women would love to be a part of it, but they don't know how hard it is to, you know, just keep going and maintain and, you know. and But... It's interesting to see, like, as a man in this life, have you met anyone who's like, wow, I really want to be in her. Like, I want to be a part of it. I want to know about your work. Take me to your job. Like, I, I want to see, you know. I like, wish I had that luxury. I can't say I've had invitations for people to open up their doors and allow them. Allow really? Me to come in. No. Then they're not the one. Well, well because well, I, can't I can't imagine no, I can't being that. with somebody and them not inviting me into their life. I, let's say I met a person who... Uh, works for the IRS. I mean, they can oh, open up okay. their door for me. Okay, right. Yeah. Think about it. Right. A banker couldn't open up their door for me either. Right. I am in a luxury position. Well, how, She's in a luxury position. Well, how far can you let somebody in? Are they allowed to go away when you go away? Yeah. Right. What is their position? Can they go away when you go away? Yeah. Can they go to your events and sit there and support you? What? How? How much can they be involved? Right. You want me to answer that? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. So there was a time where I really didn't want anyone to come to my come to my work mm. because I dealt with a lot of insecurities. On their part. On oh. their part. Okay. And it's, I'll admit, uh, uh, a man in this industry, the insecurities that a woman may face is obviously a lot of women around. Okay, her, but what if it's case, a secure woman? Yeah. What if the a woman se- is secure like me? Is secure? It se- yes. Then that's a wonderful thing. Okay. And that's a magic word. It's called yeah. secure. Okay. You never know till oh, you're yeah. in it. Like, till you're in it and you have somebody and people are like, you know, every Instagram photo, photo you post, somebody's saying something inappropriate. You know, you never know. But you know that's it. your lifestyle. Right. If yeah, she's secure and mature, she knows. It, but when it's your girl or when it's your man, it's different. And then when that well, don't same look person at keeps popping up. <laughs> but don't look at it. it. Yeah, don't don't look, look at, at it. your Instagram. Don't look at your Twitter. Respect your job. And that's what you are. It just doesn't. But am I know, allowed it to? It sounds good. But like even me as like a woman, not even get, get away from the artist thing. Like if the same girl is commenting on every picture and then it's it just, you, you, you don't want to be insecure. You're just like, that's the life that you live in. Mm. So. Wow. Well, wow. I mean. Nobody's trying to be insecure. I mean, I, you know what? There's, there's actually, there's nothing wrong with insecurity. I think insecurity is a sign of someone actually caring, but maybe they don't know how to express their emotions. Right. So it comes out negative. Way, right. Like we're human beings. We, I, I'm an advocate of stop the bullshit. Like stop saying it's not okay to feel, it's not okay to be jealous, it's not okay to be, ins- it's okay to be it's all those okay. things if it's you okay. put them in the right perspective. Like it's just, it's just not realistic. Like if nobody's anything negative, you're a freaking alien. <laughs> Stay away from me. If, you, if you're not <laughs> jealous <laughs> over me, you gotta be jealous. If you're not a little bit jealous, right. or or like that dude, who's jealous. that dude? Who's, oh, who's no. that? Oh, like, gosh. what are you not, claiming? Not a little bit. Not even right. a little bit. A little bit jealous. Like, there's so many people in the world. You make a conscious decision to be with somebody. Like, right. how many people are in the world? Like, I can't be tripping off of every fine okay. thing. That I don't want to sleep you. with it's the world. Too many good-looking people in the world to be stressed about that. So you have. So you have a lot of trust. You have a lot of trust. Probably you have to have trust. In yourself. It's not even that. I think mm-hmm. you go through so much. It's just like, you know what? If you want to go, go. Like, seriously. And I'm going to keep it moving. If, if it was worth it. She's not yeah. stressing over yeah, You're not, not stressing That's right. That's right. I'm just a I got you. very secure. You have to Sounds like it to me. Well. But see, she's in the industry. It's a whole new different perspective, though. I know, right? I'm but, a, I'm but, no. Okay, you but, have, look, but at, look at Kevin the truck driver. He's driving. He's gone a lot. You know how many chicks he can whatever in the yes. truck? Like, right, truck drivers are sexy. He's like, a mature, but he's a mature man. 
I mean, hey, I, I like he's it. traveling. The, he's you don't know who, who or what he's picking up. And if he has a woman, she doesn't get that much time with him. She doesn't absolutely know what he's not. doing. Like I don't think no. this industry it's, makes us like any less cheap alien. Than, exactly, right. <laughs> Lady, ladies know when you have proof. It's the difference between insecurity and you just know. I feel like everybody has that intuition. Oh, yeah. It's like absolutely. intuition, yes. He's doing something right. And I've always been right. I don't know if I'm speaking in the truth, no. but you know. That's- it goes for men, too. I mean, yeah. I have that, that little voice that says. Oh, yeah? You have woman's intuition, Lenny? <laughs> yes, Lenny has woman's <laughs> intuition here. But I've gotten played. You know, be, I've gotten played by women. And that's why I, if there's any flaw that I have, it's probably trust issues. Because, you know, I hear women saying. Speaking of trust issues, uh, what do you feel mm-hmm. is more important when somebody says, I trust you or I love you? No, words are just words. I write songs. They're mm-hmm. just songs. Like, your actions mean more than your words. Like, you can say you trust me all the time, but if you're on every one of my social networks looking at every comment someone writes, trust you do not trust me. Right. Mm-hmm. You popping up at events. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So, so you never believe anything in the heat of the moment? No, words are just words. No. Actions are everything. Everything. You can say you do everything at your job, but if you're not doing no work, guess what? You get fired. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm just saying. And this is the reality of love, for real. <laughs> right. For real. Angela is her name, singer, songwriter. Where, where are you from in this? I'm from Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. Oh, Ooh, my hometown. Okay, that's you say, my family hometown. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, like, I yeah, started. Uh, all right. Virginia County. Really? Oh, where was? Yes. What the, yeah. Where part? I'm not gonna tell Rich, you. Oh, you know, I'm, cool. I'm an already an old guy. Town. I really South like, Boston, Virginia. Wow. South Boston. <laughs> Wow. You heard of South Boston? Yes, yeah, South Boston. Halifax yeah. County. My parents. Hey. Down there. That's there you go. Oh, well, you from Virginia? My parents. Your parents? Really? South Boston, Halifax yeah. County. You know, this, Surely. Is, this is my family reunion weekend, and I'm finding out that the family, you know, goes south. Like, uh, I didn't oh, think yeah. there was a lot of southern connection to my family, but. Actually, wow. yeah, everything started going south. Mm-hmm. No offense. Yeah. <laughs> all, my, all my New York people got okay. love so I love New York. I love New York. You've been living up here for a minute. Good vibe. No, I'm just prolonged visitation, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so you live okay. in VA? You still yeah, live in Virginia nice. is my home. Yes. Okay, I love Virginia. Right. Wow. Richmond? Yes, Richmond. Wow. Wow. That yeah, family in Richmond too. All over. <laughs> first, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. First radio gig. They offered me a fairly decent little amount of more money than I've ever been offered. So I said, okay, I'm going to try that. Virginia. And I lived in a hotel for my wow. entire stay that was in Richmond, wow. Virginia. Wow. In oh, radio. you were in Richmond? I was living, I was oh, working but yeah. on the radio in Richmond. That was my first radio gig. But yeah, Lenny. <laughs> oh, wow. And, but, you know, I lived in so a hotel. You know cause, how it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> but I hope it's popping now. It's popping. In the early 90s. 90s. Just wasn't popping enough for me. But that was that was the prime time, wasn't it? Timberland, then I guess Missy? I wasn't I wasn't hanging out. Yeah, around. Missy Elliott. Missy, right, yes, because Missy comes out of Virginia. Oh, oh yeah, them were down there. I didn't. Timberland. Oh, you, you know why? I, I was working for an AM station. See, AM. Oh, uh, you was in the AM. Uh, AM. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> invite people to a show and then AM. You know. listen to the AM station. Day. AM. Like That's this. okay. It's a talk show. I do. Okay. I do. Oh, no. No, so, but Richmond, Richmond was a great place. <laughs> I coming from New York and coming from Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, get out your sister. Get, 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 get out. It's out. It's out. It's out. Richmond was a great place, in my opinion. Virginia, yeah. Virginia. Mm. It's beautiful. Virginia is for lovers. It's, you know the yeah. bumper sticker. I know the bumper sticker. Yeah. It's, it's for true. lovers. It's true. It true. It's true. It ain't true till you're <laughs> over <laughs> seventy. Till you're over seventy, oh Ooh. god. When you're seventy, it's for lovers. It's for lovers. You got benefits. You, you, know, <laughs> you got the AARP. You living good. The time. Oh, that's okay. terrible. <laughs> it is a little. It yeah. is. <laughs> well, my parents left a long time ago. They moved up to New York. Mm. Well, I, look, it was a wonderful experience in, in Richmond. I have no qualms about Richmond, Virginia. I mean, it's a beautiful part of the country. Is, but coming from Brooklyn, coming from New York, you know, we're, we're so accustomed to everything staying open all the time. And, Options. Yeah, I could Once they dropped me off at the hotel, at, and I was working midday, so in the middle part of <laughs> once they dropped me off, that was it. I got good friends with Benny Hanna or uh, Bennigan's. 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 Oh, wow. Right. Bennigan's. I was Virginia going Beach. there. That was my restaurant. Bennigan's. That was my yes. living room. Yes. That was everything. Yes. What hotel were you at? Why were you? Best Western. <laughs> Best Western. It was hot. Days in. <laughs> it was a 
Travel Lodge. Okay, just Travel Lodge. No, it wasn't budget, but it, I, I was in a strip mall area, so Ooh. once they dropped me off, that was it. Until, it was until I met about that life back then. Yeah. yeah. You've grown a lot. That's but, good. Yeah, I, I mean, so I know what it's like to definitely be right in uh Yeah, well, I'm not in the I'm not in the, the travel lodge, but I do live in Richmond. <laughs> 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 but you know, I'm always traveling. Look, it ain't no look. No, that I came understand. out wrong. Nothing person, nothing person. <laughs> <laughs> Just know, letting people it is know. What it is. You know. We all have a beginning. <laughs> oh, we all got a beginning. We I sure just decided do. to share it with you guys. Very Thank nice. you. Very Thank nice. you. No Thank Thank you for that. Right. But, so when is the album coming out? Humble. Working on it right now. It's coming out. Just stay on my Twitter on Hayward. When is the album coming out? I, it's, I'm working on it right now. When is the album coming out? <laughs> I'm working. I'm in the studio right now. I'm going actually next week. I'm going to be in the studio all week just working on new songs. Life, affection, love and affection. All of that stuff we go through. Really? Nice. And just putting it in music. Everything. You know, trying to find a job, graduating college. I went to school for accounting. I mean, everybody's oh my trying goodness. to get by. At least you can you know? count your money, honey. I can count it good, too. Oh, but, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm just writing about life for this album, my experiences. And I mean, I just feel like this last project I worked on my mixtape if I was I learned that so many people were going through the same stuff like I was going through like specific like the same exact thing and I'm like whoa let me just write more about my life let me put some business out that I probably shouldn't but whatever it is what it is Look, you know what I, I think if you write from the heart yeah. it's you'll find that your life is definitely a replica of other people's replica, replica. so yes. you know keep writing just write from the heart Matter of fact, I should share a couple of my stories with you so you can write a song for Please me. Please do. I, uh -oh. I, I, I got one more record. <laughs> I'm going to do a Taylor Swift and call it Lenny. Oh. I'm not gonna hold exactly. Back. I'm not gonna no, hold no, back. no, no. Matter of fact, I will only ha I will only tell one person my story so she can write about it. That's sing it. I don't sing it. <laughs> no, but he's learning. Sing. He's going to learn sing. the saxophone. I, yeah, saxophone, <laughs> saxophone is my new saxophone. mission. Is my new mission. As long as he don't practice. Vito just asked. Rockland County, come on. Oh, Rockland. Rockland. All right. Oh, wait, it's Naya so County out there. Naya there. Naya no, Naya it's huh? Rockland County is so pretty out there. Yes, Nyack. Yes, Nyack. Nyack, yeah, Nyack. Give it, it's it's not not to, it, it give a shout out, out to Alex. Like yeah. <laughs> Lenny, give a shout out to Alex. Nyack, Nyack. That's right, Alex, film director and uh, one of the producers of my upcoming TV show. Along with Tony Monroe. There we go. Um, Good so, yeah. to know. Rockland County. Rockland. That's where you're recording at? Well, I record in Virginia. I'm like a super you hippie. Wherever the inspiration takes me, I just go there. and I'm. You like, always got your pen in your pad. Yeah, it's like right yeah. now I just wrote a song. Not right now. Right now. I, wrote a, I wrote a line when y'all was talking about that. I'm like, I got to write a song about that. <laughs> okay. It, it needs a song. It does. It does need a song. And I need to write a credit. But that's all right. 10% is 10%. No, no. They asked for 1%. Don't give it down. 1%. We're going to be at the release. Exactly. Thank you. Look, invite me, session. please. Water, water. I'm too out there. I'm too out there. I'm too out there. So can we just talk for a moment about when is it? Uh, I know we don't have too much time left. But I always want to know, from a male perspective, I hear a lot of ladies speak about sensuality, and we were talking about timing and everything a little earlier. So when is it appropriate in getting to know a person to really take it to the next level? I think you know everyone gives signals, you know? When you don't see the signal, do not react. Mm -hmm. And I feel like as a man, you have to take some type of initiative. like Because, I mean, I know like the... The roles are kind of like parallel now, but me as a woman, I still want the man to take the action because I don't want to seem too thirsty because so much women are thirsty th mm -hmm. these days. You know, it's just like they'll do anything for it. They'll come give you your number, <laughs> cook dinner for you, everything on the first day, and give you something. You know, it's just like it's too much. I've never met any of those women, <laughs> so I don't know who. <laughs> look, look, because you didn't I'm take a not... chance and be the aggressor, Lenny. No, you're, you're too right. shy. You're right. I, Stop look, it. I'm trying to stay with the great. Come people. on They're now. Out there. They're out there. Yeah, yeah, but see, but then that's you what you pick have to who you cereal. want. Mister. You don't, you don't want. Don't that. let people pick you. You, you pick that. who you want. <laughs> well, well, true, but do, I feel, people. I feel that women pick. They pick they, you. They be hunting. No, uh, -uh. They be hunting. no, no. We, well, we, we're hunters. Gotta, we're hunters. can't do that. But, but Lenny got to be the aggressor. We're hunters. True. Come on but now. You ladies decide the ultimate decision. That's okay. He say yay or nay. Right, oh. right. But but if you're if that but see that goes back to if there's someone that I want and he doesn't show me, I don't get a chance to say yay. 
You're right. That's so true. I'm waiting for you. You're the hunt. Yeah, you're there the you hunters. There you go. Okay. They never do There you anything. go. I'm knocking on the door. All right? Ooh, ooh. She don't want you. She don't want you. It's Mr. Green. Just try. Just try. <laughs> <laughs> Be a man. Thank and you. Her girlfriend Thank you. is nearby. Girl. Man, open the doors, open the car doors. Pay for we don't do girlfriends no more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Did you hear what she said? Anymore. You didn't catch that slick. Yeah, I said it. You said I what? Said it. I said, said, said be a man, man. Open, open the, the car door. doors, open the doors to the restaurant, pay for the food. Yeah. And initiate. We all, we we always yeah. pay. We pay no matter Well, the first Ooh. time, what's with the big deal? Right, the right men. Not the, the right ones. Not the ones you pick. I've been Dutch. Oh. I'm not Dutch. I'm black. But I've been Dutch. Okay. All right. But guess what? Guess what, though? You like it Dutch. You know why? Because you keep pitch, no. picking the other Dutchmen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look, I will put my pride aside and be like, all right, I'll never see you again. Because, you know, the whole Dutch thing is like, we all got our own money. I know mm -hmm. some of y'all watching, y'all have your own money. But it's like the principle. Like, you, right. you don't even want me to right. reach in my hand because it would be too no. much work to reach there in my purse go. and get the money. So it's right. like, you just pay just there out you of the, go. the niceness of it. I have my own money and I don't need you to pay $9? Come on. But the Who's idea, enough? right? Who's the idea. For a Lenny has to learn how to step out there first. Oh. Take a chance, Mr. Take Green. Chance. I have. So you know what to do next time, okay? Because no. this, this this conversation was for you. Okay? It's for exactly. me. I think so. <laughs> you therapy. Asked. Come victimized. You because you asked therapy. the question. No, you asked therapy. the question. Therapy. Therapy. Open therapy. the doors. Women want men to. We want you to claim <laughs> us. Yes. You claim me. Go for it. Yeah. Yes. There's a woman out there who's liking your pictures right now. There you go. And ladies, that you chose. So, wait, so this is a not good that one. they chose you. Recently, I heard that, and I heard this from a man. <laughs> a man told me that women, you you go too fast. It's just like with a dog. If you give the dog affection, all he wants in the beginning, that's all he's gonna want. He's not gonna know how to be loyal. You teach a dog how to be loyal first, and then he'll know that he deserves everything you're giving him. That's right. I heard that from a man. I heard it from a man that was not from a woman's lips. You heard it from Vito? No. Oh. I'm just checking. No. This was like a random guy on the conversation yeah. on the street. Ah, I see. Well, That's you know right. what? Being so, I just became the victim of this. Oh, thing. my <laughs> word. <laughs> You're not no, a I'm victim. Not oh. you said, you said, You're not a victim. You're not a victim. You're here. That's what I do for the Maybe it's meant to be. Some guys need to hear that right now. There you now, go. I feel like a lot, the go. roles are kind of changing, and some guys need to know, like, this is, The role that's should not, not change. I'm going to die with a Girl, vagina. We got I'm go. a woman. There you go, Miss Indy. The roles have changed. Damn it. Roles are changing. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not a man. I don't want to be but, one. But can we say this, though? Can we say this? If you ladies get involved in a relationship, and I understand we are in the independent world. Uh, do you realize that if you are so independent and you don't let a man mm -hmm. be a man I believe, in I believe letting a man be a man. Yeah. Within the I'm old fashioned. of that relationship, mm -hmm. then he ain't going to feel comfortable. I'm old fashioned, I'm old fashioned. I'm old fashioned. <laughs> The, understand I'm old fashioned, yeah. Mr. Green. And you know what? I'm and this fashion. this this comes to like being honest. If you don't let a man or a woman, this goes for uh, both sides. If you don't let the roles be who they are, then you'll never know all that they can be. And you won't know. Don't be afraid to to upset the other person. Don't be afraid. You know what? I don't like that. I'm going to need for you to step this up. I'm going to need for you to do that because then you'll see, oh, if they get offended and bounce no character. Let them bounce. Which, but if they step yeah. up and they're like, you know what? I'm glad you said Compromise. that. Compromise. That's feel right. Like Communication. I, I want to do this for you. Let a man carry your bag. Yep. Yeah. Take Do out the trash. Take out the trash. There like, you go. Be that kettle. There exactly. you go. Because if you mess up, like... I know some, well, me and a lot of how other people are, if you mess up and you don't do those things, you get put in a category right. of, like, not long-term. It's, like, a really bad sure. category. Like, right. Right. Just, for right. just for right. affection. Yes, like. yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Hey, ladies, I, I hate to cut this. I, it was a oh, great conversation. The hour went by so quickly. Mark had to leave because uh, he's working at, uh, he has a show tonight. But uh, I, I'm so sorry that we have to cut this conversation. But Flo, thank you for joining us Anytime, tonight. Anytime, Mr. Appreciate Green. It. How can we find you on Twitter? Because I know you're on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. You're not on Twitter no more? No, that's, I'm, I'm one and only. Follow my producer. My child is on Twitter, not me. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, grown, my grown adult child. Hi, Ebony. Oh. <laughs> So we could just find Flo flowing Flo around Flo is the city. a one and only. You have to find her. She's a free spirit. She's always, she's there free she spirit. is. There you go. Let it flow. There you go. Oh, wow. So, uh, Andy, how can we find you? 
it's in the online. Go to my Instagram and, you know, that's how you can find me. I, I do Instagram now and then it goes to Facebook and Twitter. The reality of love. Go to uh, Facebook there and like us there. And Hila, how can we find you? You can find me on Twitter. It's Anhala, A-N-H-A-Y-L-A. And I'm on Instagram also. I'm always posting pictures of where I am, what I'm wearing, stuff like that. And go download my mixtape, If I Was, on my website, Anhala.com. It's free music. You can't pass up free music, y'all. Please go download the mixtape. You won't regret it. And you can find me on Facebook, Anhala Music. And you can find me at Lenny Green. I hope you follow me because I need I to am, follow. I'm following you. You are. Yes, I am. Uh, we'll check when we get off the air. She's gen- <laughs> she's genuine. We'd like to thank our producer Global Vita. We'd like to thank our assistant Miss Ishay White for being here with us as well. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next week, hopefully from St. Martin. So please log on, and we'll see you then. All right. Thanks for joining us. Peace. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. No, 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 I wish I was. I didn't know about it. If I was your summer, if I was your winter, if I was your springtime, if I was your fall, if I was your wind, if I was your stars, if I was your sun, it would never rain at all.